This will fit, right? Oh, let's go into here. Oh, yeah. This looks like it was meant for it. Oh, why is it sliding? Should I be concerned with that it's sliding? Okay, it's fine. Oh, no! Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Brick Rigs. And today, Bob is back and he's feeling pretty hungry. So as you can see here, we are gonna be microwaving some things here in Brick Rigs to begin with. This is probably the stupidest idea I think we've ever had. Do you agree, Dob? Yep. So today, folks, this is gonna be all about destruction. This is gonna be like, hey, let's blow everything up, catch it on fire. We've got some of the most destructive creations I've ever seen here, including the microwave. We also have some other things like a tsunami, except for it's all flamethrowers. And it's gonna probably kill my computer. Oh no, not again. But anyways, we're gonna be doing this episode here today. If you guys have any suggestions, for future Brick Rigs episodes, comment below. And if you're enjoying Brick Rigs on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel. And uh, oh yeah, before you ask uh, where Burnout Bob is, he's doing just fine. His therapy has been doing wonders for him. All right, so this is obviously the microwave. This is by Neo2906. And uh, you guys know what's gonna happen here. It's a microwave. Nothing bad's gonna happen. So, uh, let's see, we got an on-off switch here, a warm, hot, and a fry mode. I didn't know microwaves had fry modes on them. All right, let's go ahead and jump in. Let's go pop this door open there. Oh, look at that. All right, so you got like the little spinning table in there. Okay, so we just need to load something up. Huh, what should we microwave first? I, I think we actually need to do a food item. Uh, let me go find something. All right, so we have a peanut butter and pickle sandwich. Is this a real thing that people eat? And if so, why? Oh, oh, uh, I got the heebie-jeebies thinking about that. It's gross. Uh, sorry for people who actually enjoy that, but yeah, that's just not my cup of tea. All right, so I think it's going to be worse, the whole fact that we're microwaving this. So we just hit the on, right? Oh, look at that. It's a little bouncy, but it is attempting to turn. Okay, uh, maybe one is a little bit warmer, so let's go warm. Wait, why? Okay, so uh, hopefully you wanted a couple extra holes in that. Uh, what does hot do? Uh, wait, what? Okay, so that's like some cannons. All right, you know what? We want a fried sandwich. Let's go fried. <laughs> if your microwave does this at home, folks, call the fire department. Don't try to fix it. <laughs> You think sandwich is done? Okay, hold on. <laughs> right, let's turn, turn it off. Turn it off. All right, let's check our uh, sandwich. Okay. Yep. Uh, just as I expected. This is amazing. We're microwaving stuff in brick grids. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a little toasty. Um, yeah, it's okay though, right? Uh, it's still edible. You know, I'm lying. It probably wasn't edible in the first place because peanut butter and pickles. Ugh. All right. So we know what that does. Uh, what else can we toss in there? All right. Can confirm. Tobias is a little big for the microwave. Hold on. Open the door. Oh. <laughs> wait. Wait. Do we think we can somehow tow him in there? Tobias, we're going to try this real quick. We can get your legs in there. Uh-oh. <laughs> If only we could drag the top. Wait a minute. We could probably shut the door and get most of them in there now. All right. Oh, this is going to be terrible. Eh. Oh. <laughs> well, we got a chunk of Tobias in there. All right, let's go ahead and turn it on. Yes. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and uh, let's just make them hot here. Let's go hot. <laughs> There's pieces flying out of the microwave. All right. And let's go ahead. There we go. Let's heat Tobias up real quick. Man, we missed a lot of the microwave there. All right, this is fine. Okay, get a little ding. There we go. We have cooked Tobias. Yeah, Tobias doesn't microwave really well, does he? All right, so next thing we're going to stick into the microwave. This is the, uh, the fuel tank nuke by Wild Shaman. So... This will fit, right? Oh, let's go into here. Oh, yeah. This looks like it was meant for it. Oh, why is it sliding? 
Should I be concerned with that it's sliding? Okay, it's fine. Oh, no! <laughs> okay. <laughs> we didn't even get to microwave it. What? <laughs> you serious? Uh, by the way, Bob's moving about 75,000 kilometers per hour right now. No, that's fine. Uh, no, okay, let's get it back. Okay, we're good. All right, let's uh, let's try that again. Just picture it being like one big nuclear burrito. All right, let's go. Okay, don't blow up, don't blow up. Okay, God mode, okay. Okay, can I stick it out of God mode? Why is it doing this? It's bouncing. Okay, out of God mode, okay. Oh boy, here we go, try it. Yeah, turn it, oh yeah, I forgot to turn it on, on. Turn it on, oh no! <laughs> okay. Uh, it is confirmed. <laughs> we blew up the microwave with the nuke. <laughs> I feel like that nuke's a little unstable. I don't know why. Like, every time it just sets on the ground, it freaks out and explodes. Uh, maybe we should find a, a bigger stable nuke? Yeah, let's microwave one more thing here, and then we'll move on to the next thing. But this thing's ridiculously fun to use. Alright, here we go, boys. We got an actual working nuke here. Oh, this just fits. At least I think it fits. Oh, don't explode. Don't explode. Okay. Oh. Oh no. Uh oh. It froze. No! <laughs> okay, so maybe we god mode it first? I don't know what just happened. We just broke brick rigs. No! Oh! Uh, yep, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. Everything we just did here was a mistake. All right, so we have figured out that microwaving nukes is a very, very bad idea. I suggest you do not try it at home or don't attempt to microwave anything. Don't, don't be stupid. <laughs> it's just not worth it. So we're going to go ahead and move on to our next thing here. This is the Tsunami Simulator. Now you're probably saying to yourself, Komodo, we've seen this before. And yes, you have. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate it real quick just to show you guys, give you guys a little refresher how it works. So you hit the gas and you're going to hit one. It's going to freeze for a second. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna release all of these really, really heavy balls. And they're gonna fly and they're gonna run through their targets. Like they literally go through stuff. It's actually kind of amazing. <laughs> this is uh, one of my uh, favorite new creations. Well, MMB has actually revised this. And we now have the Tsunami Simulator with uh, flamethrowers. And I think it's gonna be absolutely spectacular. It might be the new wave of survival, I don't know. So, actually, let's go ahead and check the damage real quick. What did that thing do? Man, that knocked the whole building over, didn't it? <laughs> Uh-oh. He's coming back for round two here. All right, let's go ahead and get rid of this one real quick, and let's pull out the new one. All right, so I present to you the Tsunami Simulator with flamethrowers. Oh, no. So I'm assuming you can light them up ahead of time, and then you probably detach them like you did the uh, the balls. Now, of course, they're not going to roll quite like the uh, the balls do, but I, I think this is going to be plenty fine. So, all right, so if I start to go, okay, so that's, wait, what? What was that that came out the back? Oh, that is a huge flame wall. Like, we played with the flame wall the other day, but this is like way, way bigger. All right, here we go. This is probably going to freeze, by the way. Uh, start going. Okay. Okay, that was a mighty puff there. And let's hit the middle mouse. It's going to freeze. This is going to release the flamethrowers. That already looks amazing. Oh, there it goes. Uh-oh, it just froze again. Oh. oh, it completely crushed the building. Holy man. You know... Too bad. Actually, do some of them... No, they don't. Okay, I was kind of curious. Like, it would be so epic if the flamethrowers would stay on after you detach them. We can't make it do that, can we? Oh, uh, let's reset that. That completely obliterates the building. Like, I was thinking maybe uh, we could do some sort of survival, but... Yeah. You're not surviving that. Alright, so if I were to hold these wide open... And then click the middle mouse while still holding the flame though is open. Do they stay on when they fall off? Ah, look at that. They stay on. They stay on until they explode. Oh, no. That creates a horrible amount of fire everywhere. Okay. So maybe we should try that. We could always stop. Instead of slapping the building, we could stop right before it. And we'll see what happens. Okay, so turn that. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're just gonna chunk these at it. So, hit the 
breaks. Okay, uh, I think we released him in time here. Let's see what happens. Oh, it's flinging him. All right, oh man. All right, so the wall barely even touched it. It's all those little explosions. Oh, that looks just ridiculous. And oh, they shut off there. Yeah, they don't have that much fuel, but look how many made it into the building. How many of those little flamethrower canisters? Oh, now it's just gonna burn the building down. Wow. Okay, I don't know where MMB gets these ideas, but I, I feel like, well, I feel like we're like almost like one person. Like we think of stuff where it's like, hey, how could we uh, make this even more devastating? MMB's just got the smarts to actually create it. I just think of it and go, man, that'd be cool to do. <laughs> ah, that is beautiful. So if you guys have any suggestions for the uh, tsunami gasoline machine here, uh, we could try something with it. I, I don't know if survival is going to work. I mean, I think we might could have made it out of this thing. But I'm not really 100% sure. I don't know if Bob's willing to take the chance here. So we're just going to we're gonna leave this here. It's like a, a new work of art or something in the city. All right, let's go. Ah, so here we are. We have a new creation here. Dob, I think you're gonna like this. Uh, this is a supreme store. You know, the stores where everybody spends way too much money on a shirt that just literally says supreme on it and it's red and they uh, they get to flex on the haters and dab on people. Yeah, we uh, we have one of those in Brick Rigs now because reasons. Uh, this is made by Muto. Uh, as you can see, overpriced clothing, $850, $850. $850, and for some reason the camo version of this is going to be $1,200. Dob, what do you think about this store? I, I think we need to get rid of it. It's all overpriced, and... Are you serious? Are you serious, Dob? It's probably like $5,000 worth of clothing on you right now. What are you trying to prove? You know what? I have the perfect thing for this. All right, so we have another really, really destructive uh, creation here. This is by Jack Perry. I think that's what that's supposed to be. And this is called the Flamethrower Rain. So we're just going to spawn this bad boy. I think right here is probably fine, right? All right, so we're going to do this. Oh, no. So, okay. Yeah, that's going to be nice and spread out when it gets to the, uh, the bottom here. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the Meteor, except for it's not going to have that punch. I think it's gonna be more of a, uh, a spread out flame here. So here we go. Uh, <laughs> yes! Yeah, up. Oh. Oops. Oh, so, uh, all right. <laughs> it doesn't really stay lit. I'm pretty sure the impact exploded all the, uh, the flame. The oh, that is a, uh, that's an arm right there. Yeah, the uh, impact exploded all the flame doors. What's up with the roof on this? Is it like 20 layers thick? Man, they are really trying to protect the merchandise inside this store. It's bad when it took out the building to the side. <laughs> that actually looked really cool, though, huh? I kind of want to do that one more time. Let's drop one more uh, one more set on this real quick. Okay, let's do that. Slow it down. Oh, that looks cool. All right, let's go back down here. That one seemed like it spread out a whole lot more. Could you imagine, like, maybe combining, like, three of those together? Oh, that would be horrifying. All right, up oh, here it comes. And... <laughs> Man, that roof, that scalable block is really doing the Supreme Store a favor here. Oh, that's beautiful, though. Oh, yes! <laughs> okay, I think we finally destroyed the Supreme Store. Oh, and let's uh, chunk one more here. I want to do it to the center of the city. So if I go higher up, does it get, I guess it gets a better spread is what it is. So, okay, we're spreading that, all right, let's go down. Like, what does that look like from down here? The the meteor by rocket shotgun always looked really cool, but like, what is this? Oh, look at the spread on that. There's just so much fire coming down. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. <laughs> Yeah, so the higher the better on that one. Man, I almost argue we could do a survival with that thing in multiplayer. I didn't even check the brick count. I don't think it's actually that many. Yeah, because look at the radius. Uh, it's probably about right in here. So if you were to drop that up high, well, let's experience that real quick. So I'm going to drop it over the neighborhood here. So let's go about like probably this. Okay. Okay, light it up. Okay, so can I get out of this thing? Will it stay lit? Okay, it's gonna stay lit. All right, I think we're in the right spot for this one. All right, let's take off running. Oh! <laughs> oh. 
Ho! Yeah, if you drop like maybe two or three of those at once. Yeah, let's look at Bricksville. Oh yeah, we did it. We have done in here today. I think we've blown up about everything. There's a couple houses still left. Pretty sure they either went up or maybe they went down in land value. Not really sure. But I feel like uh, we've definitely done it here today. So, anyways, I think that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Brick Ricks. We had quite a destructive episode. We tried to microwave a nuke. Uh, we blew up some other stuff, and we blew up some more things. And then we, uh, we also blew some stuff up. So, typical day in Bricksville here. But anyways, I want to thank you guys for all the love and support on the Brick Ricks series. You guys are absolutely amazing. And we will see you guys next time on Brick Ricks.